Mercy Village Church, I know it's late in the week. It's uh, Saturday. Uh, tomorrow we worship together. We gather together as a church body. I do apologize for being put, put out so late in the week, but uh, Lord willing, many of you will see it here today. I pray that this week uh, you have experienced the real tangible presence of God. Um, and if you haven't, that's okay. It's part of the process. Um, uh, hopefully that's a longing in your heart, though. Hopefully that's a desire that you have. Um, we are going to continue our sermon series uh, through our vision for 2024 and 2025 as a church. We're going to continue that this Sunday. Last Sunday we talked about uh, being here to be built up, and we talked about what that means specifically, not being here in this building. That was secondary, and we certainly talked about that, and that is part of it. Um, but primarily living in the presence of God, uh, walking with Jesus as apprentices, what that looks like for us to truly experience the real presence of God and how that makes us like trees planted by streams of living water. And so um, uh, in the either tomorrow or Monday morning, I want to put out a short video and a list of some resources that I think will be helpful for those of you that are longing to grow in that pursuit. What does it look like beyond the typical kind of Sunday school answers, read your Bible and pray? How do we go deeper into walking with God, experiencing the real presence of our Father, living in a daily moment by moment apprenticeship with Jesus. And so look for that uh, either Sunday afternoon or Monday morning uh, with a list of some resources to help you in that. Um, I want to remind you that the last Sunday of this month is a youth service. So not this Sunday, but the next. There's five Sundays in this month. So that's going to be a youth service. Not really a youth service as much as we're just going to invite our, our young people to participate. There will still be a babies and toddlers class, but there will not be preschool there will not be elementary school. There will not be middle school and high school. But don't let that deter you. We want to have a, um, a shorter sermon. I'm going to be inviting some of our young people to participate in the gathering. Um, if you want for sure to participate or your kids want to for sure participate in the Sunday morning gathering, please let me know as soon as possible so we can get them plugged into some roles. Reading uh, scripture. Um, helping with the greeting, even helping with like making coffee and things like that. Whatever it, that looks like, we want them to participate. So please let me know if your young folks have any interest in participating. That will be July the 31st. This Sunday, like I said, we continue in our sermon series uh, of what it is to be built up and be building out as a church over the next two years. Maturity and sustainability were two words that we threw out last Sunday. This week we're going to begin talking about that buying in to build out. Um, we'll do that over the next two weeks. In particular, we're going to start with the vision of what it is that we want to see built out as a church. And then the next Sunday after that, we'll talk about what it looks like for us to buy in to that vision. And so um, I urge you, if you're a member or a regular attender, please be watching if you were not here or, or miss any of the sermons, please go back and, and listen to the sermon audio or watch the sermon audio. I would, I, I hate saying stuff like that because in my back of my mind, there's this voice that says, that's real self-serving. You just want people to listen to your sermons. But I know that's not it. That's not the point. Um, I want us to all be in touch with what the deacons and the elders um, have, and uh, leadership um, and uh, members and regular attenders who we invited into this conversation. So it's not just what I'm thinking about. It's what all of us as leaders are thinking about as the vision uh, moving forward over the next two years from Mercy Village Church. And I would love for all of our members and regular attenders to be on the same page. And so that's why I urge you, please, if you have not, uh, if you miss any of the sermons, of the three sermons, please uh, go back on the app or on YouTube or wherever, or on the, uh, Spotify or wherever you listen to our sermon audio at, go back and listen to those. Um, looking forward to tomorrow. Go ahead and read ahead if you want to. Psalm chapter 40, verses 27 through 31. We're going to talk about what it looks like for us to build out a safe harbor of renewal. That we're longing for that to be what Mercy Village Church is. And we'll talk about what that means tomorrow. Love you guys. Can't wait to worship alongside you.